It is well established that Afghans have played an important role in history when it comes to contributing to mankind. The contributions range from medicine to arts and literature to establishing empires. Although there have been many Afghans who have accomplished such great feats hundreds of years ago, it is not to say that in the last century Afghans have given up on this tradition of service to mankind. A great example is the late Ishaq Sharyar, or better known in the Western world as the Sun King. He was born in the year 1936. Born in Kabul, he was privileged to be raised in a family which had well-established connections with the monarchy of Afghanistan during that period. In the year 1956, he earned a scholarship to travel abroad and study in the United States at UC Berkeley. He was at Berkeley for a period of one year, where he changed to UC Santa Barbara. There he earned a bachelor's in physical chemistry and followed on to obtain a master's degree in international relations. Upon completing his university education, he began to work for companies that provided space solar cells that were used by space giant NASA for their unmanned satellites. It was not long after that the government of the United States started looking for alternative sources of energy for their projects. With this in mind, he began his career at Spectrolab. This is where he developed low-cost solar or thermovalatic cells. His contributions did not stop there. He developed the process by which one can screen print cells on solar panels. Both of his ingenious developments had a profound impact on today's use of technology measures to reduce energy usage. From here, his business advances also started to bring him further fame and attention. He first created a photovalatic firm by the name of Solik International. He later went on to sell this firm to a Japanese company. Based on his experience and contributions, he was appointed to run a Los Angeles-based solar company by the name of Solar Utility. Whilst gaining extensive experience and fame in the solar energy world, he was appointed the US Presidential Mission on Sustainable Energy and Trade to India. This was a historic landmark for Afghans, as it is very rare to find Afghans who had reached levels so high in foreign diplomatic circles. Later in his life, he was appointed as the first Afghan ambassador to the United States since 1978. It is widely accepted that he worked for free and used a lot of his personal fortune to not only work on the embassy, but also on many social and developmental projects inside Afghanistan. His last endeavor was the creation of his solar company called Sun King which is now a play on on the appointed title that he was given for his contributions to the solar energy world. Mr. Shahriar passed away in April 2009. He left behind his wife and two children.